Welcome to Palm Closet guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a crochet summer top. A crochet needle, 4mm hook, a pair of cutter, a yarn needles, a tape measure and a few of the stitch markers. Also, not to forget the yarn of your favorite I'm using the yellow yarn from the Grindle. This is a German brand and it's 50 gram per ball. Today we are using around two and a half balls, so that would be around 120, 130 grams for this top. The needles we are using, needle number four. This is a four ply cotton, an eco texture that is friendly for your skin and environment. To begin with, do the slip knot. I will leave this end for sewing later, so I will leave it around eight to ten centimeter. Do the slip knot. And then chain five. Do the slip stitch onto the first chain that we did. Chain three. Do five more of double crochet. So we have three. So this would be the three chains from the beginning count as one double crochet and then do five more of double crochet so the total is six double crochet and then you turn the work by crocheting three chains first turn the work and do uh, six six double crochet so that would be one double crochet. So two, three, four, five, six would go on the side. So two, three, four, five, six is on the third change from the beginning so you have six of on each rows so do this in the total of ten rows at the end of row ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I will use the stitch markers on this row so I know this is row 10 and now you need to change three turn the work so what we do we need to divide this row into half and then we need five uh, double crochet on each side so what I'll do I'll just go maybe one here so one two three four five so one two three four five and then change two and do five more on the left side so one two three four and then one more on the last stitch so 
so five. So I have five on the right side to change, five on the left side, and then change three. This is row row twelve. And you need to add, um, you need to get seven double crochet on each side. So I'll go one, two, two, uh, three chains count as double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. I will do two double crochet in the middle, six, seven, change two. This is the middle part. So this is the bra. We're starting to do the bra part now. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, change two, and do seven more on each side. So the left side and the right side have to be the same amount of these double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the seven on the last stitch. So you have Five on this side on row 11, two chain, five on this side, row 12, seven on this side, two chain, seven on the left side. So for row 13, you need um, nine on each side, nine stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For eight nines, I will go in the middle. Two G. And a knight on the other side as well. So for row 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, I'm having this pattern for you. So you need to add 11 stitches on each side and make sure you have the two chains in the middle. For row 15, 12 on each side, 16, 13 on each side. 17, 14 double crochets on each side, 18, 15 double crochet on each side, and 19, row 19, 16 stitches on each side. So make sure you have these two chains in the middle and I will meet you at the end of row, row 19 with 16 stitches on each side. So I'm at the end of row 19. So you have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So it will looks like this. And for row 20 you need to change 3, turn the work. And then you just keep continuing with double crochet so until you reach the middle point which is here for row 20 before I'm reaching the middle point I have 3 6 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 Stitches, and then I will do three double crochet in the middle without doing any change like the previous rows. 
So for the rest of the stitches, just do the double crochet and make sure you have the same stitches. And for row 21, 22 and 23, we will do only double crochet all the way around without any increasing, without anything in the middle. So by doing chain 3 and then go to the next stitch, just keep doing the double crochet for 3 rows including these rows and I'll meet you at the end of row 23 where I have reach the end of row 23 and before you do the next row you need to do another piece so exactly the same as the piece you've just done so you, you have two pieces of this which is the bra cup one for the left and one for the right side so now for row 24, we need to change one and then turn the work. You do only single crochet all the way down to the last stitch of this um, bra cup. So I'll meet you at the end here. I'm at the end of the last stitch of this bra cup and you just grab another piece that you've done and do the single crochet on the next stitch and keep doing this until you reach the end of the row. So I'm done with row 24 which I have combined two bra cups together. This is the top part, so now we need to do the next row. And I have found this beautiful pattern from the book, which is this beautiful, I don't know what it calls, but it looks like a little pineapple pattern. And this is how it looks like so I'm gonna be working on this pattern along the top so to begin with this pattern um, we need to turn the work of the brows that we've just done and um, you change one. This is our brows cup, so we need to work on these parts later on. So change one, turn the work. You do one single crochet on the first stitch, one single crochet on the next stitch. So just follow the pattern and then change three and then you skip three stitches. One, two, three, go to the fourth one with the double crochet, change two, or double crochet, chain three, skip three stitches, go to the fourth one with three single crochet. Change three, skip three stitches, go to the fourth one with one double crochet, two change, one double crochet, then change three, and then we do the three single crochet, and then change three, skip three, one double crochet chain two, one double crochet, chain three, skip three, do three 
single crochet so if you want to twist it need to you need to, need to make sure that it's on the on the, the same side so three single crochet and then change three skip three one double crochet chain two one double crochet chain three so this row isn't complicated at all make sure you skip three and work on the fourth stitch in between this gap so um, almost the end of the row so I need to do the the last bit here equally so we can end it up with the two single crochet so what I do because one pattern needs around 21 stitches you can see here so you can just uh, capture this pattern and then you work on this so I need to ease this last row so I do one two three so I will have too many left at the end of this row because I won't get the two single crochet on here so what I do, I need to equal the last stitch instead of work on the fourth stitch, I will go on the I will go on the fifth. This is size S top and it fits 32, 34 inches breadth. So the last stitch, I still have too many, but then I will just go. Doesn't matter how many left, I just go for two single crochet at the end because the pattern we starting from two single crochet. So we need to end it with a two single crochet. For row two, we need to change one to end the work do the single crochet on this stitch and then we chain one two three four chain four and then we do um, the five double crochet on this V space to get the yarn out of the way focused. So we do five double crochet in this V stitch and then chain four and you have these three single crochet just go to the middle do one single crochet so you need to repeat this for the rest of the row. So change four, do the five double crochet, and then you just change four, one single crochet in the middle so keep doing this exactly the same as here until you reach the end of the last so one two three four and then you end with one single crochet just like you have started now row three you need to chain seven. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. And then turn the work. So you do the single crochet in each of the double crochet. So that would be five single crochet. Three, four, five. Up to seven, change, and then five single crochet on top of this five double crochet. And then you chain seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then do the five single crochet on top of each fan here. So keep doing this by uh, chain seven, five single crochet, chain seven, five single crochet. And when you reach the last five single crochet of the last fan, you need to chain three and then do the triple crochet by yarn over twice and then you do the triple stitch on this one pull the yarn through three times and for row four we need to chain three one double crochet on the same stitch and chain three you do now three single crochet on top of these five so I will skip the first I'll go to the second so you need three single crochet on top of this fin and then chain three so you have these long strings where you did chain seven. So you just go to the middle and then do one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. So here we will start again this section and we need to chain three and then do the five single crochet and chain three do one double crochet to change one double crochet where the long long strand is long long stitches so this is the pattern of this row so you do three single crochet on top of the fan three chains, one double crochet, two chains, one double crochet. So here is going to be the starting point of the next row. So we need to repeat this pattern on the next row. So this is, so keep repeating, chain three and then three single crochet, chain three and then the V stitch, chain three. Just in a row four, after you've done three single crochet, chain three, and you need to do two double crochet at this corner. So that row four is completed. Now row five, chain three, do two more, do one more, double crochet in the same stitch do one double crochet in the next stitch so that would be three double crochet including the three chains and then chains four one two three four so do one single crochet on top of these three single crochet from the previous row and then chain four two three four now we need the five double crochet in this V stitch. Three, four, five. So this is row five. 
and now we need four change three four one single crochet on top of this fan and then four single crochet and do the five double crochet like this one so keep repeating this pattern until you reach the end of the row at the end of row five you change four and then do one single crochet here and the next stitch with a two two double crochet so you have three double crochet at the end of row five this is row five and for row six you change one turn the work you do three single crochet on top of these three double crochet from the previous row and then you change seven one two three four five six seven just the repeating of the pattern and now you do the five single crochet on top of this five double crochet four five and then chain seven and then five single crochet on this five double crochet chain seven and then do the five single crochet on this five double crochet until you reach at the end of row six after seven change and then you do three single crochet on top of these three double crochet and then row seven change one turn the work do one do two single crochet on this on top of the three single crochet chain three so now we need to start this row which is row one so by do the double crochet chain two one double crochet chain three do the three single crochet on top of the five single crochet and then chain three and do this V stitch chain three do the three single crochet on top of this five single crochet so this is row seven and row seven is exactly the same as row one so for the rest of the row you need to keep repeating this pattern until you reach the length of your dessert and if you're not sure how each row works uh, please scroll back to the beginning of this row which is row one so this is what i have so far i have done the total of 27 rows so i have these pineapples um, the pineapples pattern here around one two three four five six seven eight nine of them so now we need to do the side which I will um, at the last stitch this is the whole front front piece, so we're just gonna do the side by chain one, and then I'll do a single crochet. So three of them on the row with the um, triple crochets, and then for the rest, we're just gonna do single crochet. So this is just the first row of the side. So this would be 
the um, beginning of the size for this one will be two single crochet this big long gap will go for three single crochet so I um, ended up with 44 single crochet on this side now we change three we will skip one stitch we go to the next one with double crochet so now we're gonna do the mesh stitch which is chain one skip one do a double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip one do the double crochet on the next stitch so keep repeating this so the row with the of the mesh stitch I have the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two of this uh, gap so for row two of the mesh stitch I will change four turn the work and then just keep repeating the double crochet chain one double crochet chain one on top of each double crochet stitch until you reach the um, not the last stitch until you reach the stitch before the last one so we need to uh, do the two single crochet together on this part one so what we do we do the two double crochet join uh, together and you have three loops on the on the needles and then just pull through so you will be decreasing the side for the next row you just change three you go to the next stitch do the double crochet chain one so it's where I join the yarn and then double crochet chain one double crochet chain one keep doing this until you reach the end of the row and then on the way back you do exactly the same as on row two here by joining the by doing the two double crochet together so do this for I will say let me, let me show you the piece that I've done this is in white and also size small and this the back will look like this and we would do the zigzag back so for the mesh rows we will have one two three four five six seven We'll do seven and then just do the single crochet uh, on top of the double crochet and one in the gap, one on top of the double crochet, one in between the gap. So keep doing this until you reach the last stitch and I will meet you there to do this part of the top. So I'm done all this single crochet at the last stitch. Here's the bottom of the top and here is the top part. So we need to work along this part. So once you reach this part here, um, I will change three and do two more double crochet in the same stitch so I will do it here on the first stitch so we have three two double crochet and one three chains so you need to skip um, the spaces I will just go to the little holes in between the two 
rows here where I do the slip stitch and then chain three, two more double crochet in the same stitch. Go to the next hole here, it's in between the two rows. Chain three, two double crochet. Go to the next hole. Chain three. And do two double crochet until you reach the last stitch. So I will keep continue doing the three chains and then two double crochet in the same stitch. And you're reaching now the bra cup, the bra part. So try to balance the spaces. So I will leave around two stitch and then go to the third one do exactly the same all the way around the top and then I found one to go to the third one slip stitch so you will have this kind of edge along the top so one two I count one two to this space here. Two more double crochet. And then you count one, two, three here. Yeah. So keep doing this until you reach this part. I'm at this point where we started, so this is the strap and the bra cups and this is on the side of the top so we would do the string for the top by chain 3, 2 double crochet the same stitch and then chain 3, 2 double crochet in the same stitch And so on. So keep doing this until you reach the length of 20 to 21 inches. And once you've done this um, strap for the top, sorry, I have to show you in white because it's the piece that I have done. And you need to start doing the the same as here here so um, by uh, pull the yarn through get the get the yarn through this loop and then tie it and then chain three do two double crochet in the same stitch and keep doing uh, the same as on this side and then you just go round the bra cup and then you start the cup on the other side and so on until you you reach this top part of the other cup and then just keep changing the strap which is the three chains two double crochet three chains two double crochet for 20 21 inches and then back to this part by get the new strands and then just do three chains two double crochet uh, leave the gap for around two, two, two um, stitches and then three chains, two double crochet, three chains, two double crochet until you reach the other side but before you do this side you need to uh, repeat the same same process as on the other side which is the mesh so I just uh, keep decreasing uh, this part it's just attached to the to the cup but on the bottom end don't decrease or increase anything and then we will do the string for the back for the strings of the back we need two strands of yarn and 
also a bigger needle just slightly bigger than the one you use for one strand here so by doing the tussles you need to get the two strand wrap around the, the fingers I would go for five rounds so and then get, grab these two strands wrap around the wrap around the needles twice and then just pull the strand through this little loop here and then just keep changing just do the change and I will trim this end here I have ended up with the length of 60 inches so now we need to cut this part leave the two strands like this and then we wrap around the, the get, get the yarn and wrap this round for four or five more rounds Cut it off and also cut a little piece of yarn also. So we grabbed our strings and insert one end and tie it. Tie it. I do it twice. So we need the two tassels and get the piece of yarn that we have just cut, wrap around the top of uh, the yarn and we tie it twice or more if you need it and then we just trim this part here and now we have the strings with the two ends of tassels so you will end up having something like this and I need to thread all this ends in and also insert the long thread to the back of the top so how to thread this yarn in just put the yarn through the yarn needles And you can find anywhere to hide it just insert it to somewhere once or twice so just turn this top to the back side and then you will need to leave it like this and for this strings, I will do from the bottom up, upwards. So you can tie it uh, to this part of the top. So what I do, I just, I'm just going to insert the string to the first, the first gap here on the bottom, and then you do the other side insert it through the first gap of the bottom as well and you will have this in half and then just keep uh, the, uh, the 
string here through all this um, gap I will leave maybe about three three gap I'll leave three gap and then I'll go to the fourth one and do it there's so many ways you can do this um, crisscross or zigzag So the back would be similar to this and when you tie it you can just do it similar to the when you when you tie the lace of the shoes. So the tutorial is finished. This top fits size small. The breast size is in between 32 to 34 inches and we are leaving the back so the measurement from here to here is around 4.5 inches, same as on this side. And the crisscross part, um, you have a big gap like this, but you can always pull it tight because the crochet piece stretch. And I hope you like the tutorial. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe.